Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm doing a tutorial today. If you watched my last videos, you know I love Yoshi. And I feel like my art doesn't represent that. I'm gonna draw some Yoshi stuff and we're gonna make some keychains. For this project, I picked my favorite Yoshi's Island characters. I'm drawing them on an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper on my Procreate app. And since we're using shrink plastic for this project, I want to draw these about three times the size as I want the final product to be. I can usually fit like six or seven keychains on a sheet of paper. I'm just going to finish the sketches now. Now that I'm done the sketches, I'm going to do the line art, and I will try to keep this fairly clean because it'll just make it easier when you have to make the physical copy. What I do next is print out a physical copy, and then I lay that down on my light board and put shrink plastic on top. Then I fasten it down with some tape. Now that it's secure, we can start doing our line art. I'm using this porcelain brush pen by Edding because it works really well for line art on plastic. It doesn't slip around and it isn't really wet like Posca markers are, so I prefer to do it for all my line art. If you make any mistakes here, that's fine. You can actually just scratch it off with a toothpick. lines are done and now it's time to do the coloring. For coloring I'm using Posca markers but there are a lot cheaper options out there these days so you don't really have to spend so much on paint markers. My only word of advice for coloring is to make sure you don't layer the paint too much because if you bake it, it'll have a very grainy texture and you don't want that. For this step, we're going to cut out our characters. You can cut around your character or you can create a shape or you could cut directly on the line and have a black outline. Once your characters are cut out, we're going to hole punch them and this will be for your accessories. But if you'd rather have a pin, you can skip this step and just add a backing to it. For the shrink plastic I'm using, I need to preheat my toaster oven to 350 Fahrenheit and then I leave it in there for about 30 seconds to 1 minute just until they're small and then I press them down flat with like a book or something and you'll have your finished little guys. Sometimes little imperfections pop up after the baking process so I like to go over it with a black fine tip pen and just clean it up a bit. I cut my Yoshi egg keychain along the line and just to give it a finished look I like to color the outline black. And 
this step is necessary if you want a really finished look to your keychain. Um, I'm using all the safety precautions, a mask and gloves, because resin is toxic. And I'll basically just put a blob of resin in the middle and spread it out to the edges. And then I cure it for two minutes on each side and I have a finished charm. And here I'm using a pair of pliers to add the keychain to my charm. And I just need to finish the rest of them. I feel like backing cards just really finish the look, so I'm designing mine in Canva. And then I print a sheet and cut them all out with my cutting board. Hi guys, I hope you found that tutorial helpful and if you'd like more tutorials, let me know. I'm super into making keychains right now, so if you have any like ideas for what I should do for the next keychains, just leave an idea in the comment section below. And as for the giveaway, I will be giving away everything I made in this video. And I think I'll be doing pretty similar things for my next videos. If you like these keychains, you can go to the description box below and there's some information there on how you can sign up for the giveaway. I'll be giving away three keychains on YouTube and three keychains on Instagram. But yeah, thank you so much for watching my YouTube video. I'll be doing a lot more tutorials in the future. If you like it, please let me know. Also, I want to thank all 600 of you who subscribed to me this week. I'm like... I'm just floored. I was not expecting this at all. I'm just so grateful for this whole situation. Um, it's given me a lot of motivation to keep making videos and yeah, I just wanted to show my gratitude through a giveaway. Like and subscribe and we can just keep doing art together.